Hey, what's going on YouTube? Sorry I've been gone the last two weeks, but I've been out looking for a reason not to hate reruns of The Real Housewives. It gets boring sometimes being a writer, and I end up watching cable. And alas, I fucking hate cable. And those women scared the shit out of me. With that being said, I have a special treat for you on this week's edition. Like I've said before, I'm not one for ratting people out on my videos and saying their names publicly. But after a few cocktails and broken dreams, I had a friend come to me with some of his problems with his new girlfriend, new as in the last 24 months, which is two years. Apparently, our definitions of new are worlds apart. And uh, I'm just going to rattle off some of the notes here I made from our conversation. Um, for instance, one of the things I noticed during the conversation, you're not allowed to talk to so-and-so. Not allowed. As in, off limits? As in, I'm a puppet? Listen, honey, this isn't communist Russia from the 60s. Ever hear of free will? I mean, you should. Your fat ass eats freely off of it, judging by the Taco Bell bags that are in your apartment. The actual nerve to really tell somebody else they cannot talk to other people baffles me. But at the same time makes me wonder, does a golden pussy actually exist? I've never seen one, personally. I said it. I'm just gonna say it. Because only a golden pussy could whip a man so tight. Either that, or the guy's got a small dick and he's just thankful this girl will sleep with him. And in that case, buddy, go back to basics and marry your hand. I can promise you this, at least your hand won't try to make you watch reruns of Sex in the City. Um, the gym. Uh, apparently she doesn't want him going to the gym without her because he'll pick up girls. Um, the only guys that pick up girls in the gym are either A, guys that look like women, you know, the fake tan, the waxed eyebrows, look like a fucking Ken doll, or B, the guys that own the fucking gym. Since he is neither of those things, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say my friend's gonna come home alone. Alright, don't get brainwashed by that movie Pain and Gain. You go to the gym to work out, you go home, drink a protein shake, it's done. Listen, you want a partnership. He's your boyfriend. He's not your favorite pair of Uggs. You know, it's like it's almost like you're trying to hold him too close like your Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. I mean, wouldn't it be more fun to just experience life with the guy rather than, I don't know, play where in the world is Carmen San Diego every time he walks out the fucking door? To the people on YouTube watching, all I'm saying is this. Relationships are all built on trust. Without trust, Fuck it. That's what strip clubs are for. Or Bay Boulevard at 2.30 a.m. People, if you like what you see today, please like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best.